In this episode, we're going to talk about something called increment and decrement operators. And as you guys can see right now, we do actually have a variable called x, which is equal to 10. Underneath here, we simply echo out variable x, meaning that inside the browser, I'm going to get 10. Now, the idea behind increment and decrement is that we can actually take a number, for example, the 10 we have here, and increase it or decrease it by one. Now, you might be asking, why do we need to learn this? Well, in a later episode, we're going to talk about something called loops. And before we start talking about loops, we need to learn how to increment or decrement numbers. So we're just going to go ahead and jump straight into it here. Now, down where we say echo x, we're going to go ahead and add plus plus in front of variable x. And what this means is that we're going to go ahead and add one. Now, you might be asking, why does plus plus means that we add one? Well, it just does in PHP and JavaScript. So don't get it wrong. 1 plus does not mean we add 1, and 2 pluses doesn't mean we add 2. Plus plus means we add 1. So 2 pluses for 1 add, if I can say it that way. So we're going to go ahead and refresh the browser now, and you guys will notice we get 11 instead. Now, if I go back in here, you might be asking, well, does the positioning matter of the pluses? Yes, it does. If I put it before variable x, I'm saying I'm going to echo. Well, actually, I'm going to add 1 and then echo out variable x. But if I put the pluses afterwards, I'm actually going to echo out variable x and then add one. So if I refresh the browser now, you guys will actually notice we get 10 again. But if I go back again, go underneath here and echo variable x, you guys will notice that afterwards we will actually have 10 and then we're going to have 11 because we echo out 10 and then we add one and then we echo out variable x again, meaning we get 11 now. So Adding pluses will add, but what about subtracting? If I go ahead and remove the pluses again and refresh the browser, you guys will see we will actually get 10, 10 because we didn't add anything now. If I go back again and before the echo, at least the first echo, I'm going to say minus minus. If I refresh the browser, we're going to get nine. Of course, we're going to get nine, nine because we will actually go in and say we're going to, you know, subtract one, then echo out variable X. Underneath here, variable x is still 9, so we're going to echo out variable x again. So we get 9, 9. So if I actually go ahead and take the minuses, put it in front of variable x, at least the first one, refresh the browser, you guys will see it says 10, 9, because we don't actually subtract before we actually get to the second echo, which is down here. So that's the basic idea behind increment and decrement. And this is not really difficult but we will need to learn how to do this for a later episode. So learning about this right now is a pretty good idea. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys next time.